Hey, I'm Birdman. Hey, I'm Michael. It's time to get on target at the Hub Tucson. Tucson. Cabot, out of all these brands, um, probably has the top in terms of price. Um, so Cabot, um, there is no price that is too small. Um, they have two guns. I want to say they're like like $4 million or something like that. Holy crap. Um, nice. They are two 1911s that came from uh, metal from a meteor. Um, so they are literally, they market them as out of this world. Um, they are out of this world. The metal you cannot find on this planet um, except in those guns. So super cool Damascus on top of it. So they folded it about nice. you know a million wow. times to create a gorgeous kind of inlay of the metal just folding over itself and they're just unbelievable and so cabot really you know they do the high 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 end um and sometimes you can say okay realistically are you getting any more for that and we could argue sometimes no um it gets to that point of show um you know and collectability so, you know, you kind of think of like, um, you know, you know, like Fabergé and, you know, like, you know, like those high, really expensive brands that, you know, you're like, well, why? It's right. an egg. Right, right. You know what I mean? Well, no, they're, that's hand painted and uh, there's only one of them in the world and it's, it's six million dollars. There you go. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it's the same way with Cabot. Um, they just posted a gun the other day that is hand engraved. Um, it was it, something like $15,000 for the 1911. Um, they only have one of them comes in a custom case, you know, et cetera. So these guys are kind of the top, top, you know, I want a custom 1911 made. I want it to have this engraving on it and this finish with these metals. Okay, we'll get that done for you. There you go. Um, they do, you know, different models that are, you know, like this gun is definitely more affordable than $15,000. This is in the, um, I want to say in the $5,000, four to $5,000 area. Um, this one's V bobbed. So it's a very good carry gun. Um, it's got some, um, some checkering on the top to kill the shadow. Um, it's got night sights, eight ball. I love them. Um, they're just awesome. Triggers gorgeous. It's got their star pattern in it. Um, so really just a really well-designed, sexy carry gun, um, just high end, you right, know what I mean? Right, so right. it's just not your average, okay, you know what, I'm going to the gym, um, I'm going to throw my uh, Glock in the, in, you know, on me or in my bag or whatever. This is like, you know what, I'm going to a party with my, my buddies, um, I want to look dapper, you know, so I'm going to throw on my Cabot and uh, my matching, you know, belt buckle and go to town. So, um, the cool thing though, too, is, is they're shooters. So it's not just art, right? It's something that you can actually take to the range. And, you know, if you're a good shot, you know, someone's sitting over there like, dang, you know, and it's like, yep, you know, it not only looks good, but it functions. It functions so right. that's the cool thing about cabin. Um, I've always kind of loved them. You know, when you get into the gun business, it's just like selling cars, you know, the cool and weird and different stuff kind of gets you going um, because you see the same thing over and over, you know, like how many times do we see a Glock? Right. You know, right. and do I love Glocks? Are they one of my favorite pistols? Heck yes. But when something gets me excited, it's, you know, a Cabot or a Nighthawk or Infinity or a Desert Tech or, you know, a High End Christensen or, you know, a few, you know, different brands that just really you're like whoa you know like how this is different right you know right, this right. what you know and these guys they do some classic guns like the grand turnino which really makes me think of grand you know like the yeah, the yeah, old school yeah, gun yep, like yep. the lines and just the way that they do stuff it's super cool um they do one called the icon we talked about that in the first video um very very iconic style 1911 Different, it, very different in the way that you grab the slide in the back. They 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 gave you a different style, but super cool. So Cabot, high end nineteen elevens that are really out of this world, and you can build to what you want. Um, and like I said, kind of more on the 
you know, engraving, high-end metals, um, collectability, not something that's just, all right, I picked it up, let's go for, let's go destroy this, um, right. you know, let's go to town. <laughs> um, it's something that you really love and cherish and, they, you know, in my opinion, it's something that I would hand down. Um, you know, if I got one of these guns, um, something that I would hand to my kids and, you know, kind of like a Rolex. Yeah. You right, know, it's right. like, hey, this isn't a $10 Casio um, that, you know, is designed to be thrown around, beaten. Um, you could do that, but you're going to ruin it and it's worth it to not. Right. Um, so awesome guns. Make sure you check out Cabot. And we also talked about their sister company, Alchemy Customs, last time. Um, so Alchemy is that more classic 1911 um, you know, deep blues that just kind of, you like can stare in and they just go for, for a year. Right. Um, so, um, super cool. They, um, Alchemy is starting to get into the 2011. So that's kind of cool. They're getting into that race side. Um, so anyway, so that's Cabot. And then we'll have Rob take that beast down. Atlas Gunworks. So we recently picked up Atlas Gunworks, um, and it was because we actually had a couple of our local shooters, um, some customers that said, hey, you know, I'm looking at getting these guns, you know, have you guys thought about it? And I had shot Atlas actually at the Interius Alliance shoot um, that, um, I don't know if they're gonna do them anymore. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, um, <laughs> but um, Rob and I used to be a part of that and uh, before SHOT Show on a Sunday, um, they would do a shoot where all these different manufacturers would come out and Atlas was there one year and we got to shoot their guns and they are awesome. Um, like I said, with all these other brands, custom built, custom tuned, um, Atlas's focus is more, of course, race guns. Right. Um, you know, single stack, um, different types of competition that there are um, and they have different guns for each one of those. Um, and they build them to that class. So, you know what, it can be a max capacity of this, um, and usually they'll say like a certain millimeter length on the magazine, um, certain length on the slide. Um, you can have um, optic cut or not, you know, different things in different classes. And they build the classes to more like production. Okay, so we need to have a production gun. Well, all we make is custom right. 20, right. how do we, right. you know what, so they, they come up with, you know what, our, our production gun is a 1911. And um, because all of our guns are 1911 style or 2011 style. Um, and then what's cool is, is they fit the rules. So right. they go, okay, you know what? We can add this and it still fits the rule. You know, <laughs> so it's, you're getting something that's really, okay, you know what? I want to go into IDPA. All right, I got the gun for you uh, and it's set up already. Um, you need extra magazines. Do you want red, blue, green, tan, or I mean, uh, stainless? Um, you know, so it's like, more built for racing. Um, and of course they do offer some more, you know, you could, you could say, okay, I could carry this gun. They do offer that. Um, but if you look at their heart and what they're going for, it's to have competing pistols that really don't break the bank. And, and when I say, you know, this is a $6,000 gun, you're like, what? That's breaking the bank. <laughs> um, got to remember that most competition shooters used to have to buy a 2011 and send it to another shop to get customized to the way they wanted. So you used to have to buy an STI, send it to a well-known customizer, wait another six months for him to do his work on it to then be able to shoot it. So, okay, yeah, you bought a $4,000 gun to have it tuned to put another two to three grand into it to make it where you want. Out of the box, six grand. So it's, you know, again, I understand these aren't cheap numbers and Mike, are there guns that I could compete with for cheaper? For sure. We could get you in a Glock 34, you know, or a, you know, a, a full size, uh, any brand and, you know, put a magwell on it, uh, apex trigger in it, some sights on it. You're going to compete. You know what I mean? Get you a, a, a belt set up and all that. You're going to compete. But if you really want to excel, if you really want to go to the top, you got to have the the equipment to back it. And I mean, and that's every industry. Yep. You know, you look at motorcycles, you look at cars, any of them. I really want to go to the top. Okay, well, 
um, you know, your $200 helmet. Look at playing Magic the Gathering for crying out loud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or even, uh, I mean, God, you're getting in with the kids uh, yeah. to Legos. Yeah. Yeah. Legos, you can go crazy. I mean, you think you think like I, like t 10 bucks is a, it's like, no, you can a couple hundred dollars on a Lego set. I'm sure if not more. Almost a thousand now, I think. They've got sets that are seven ninety nine or the eight forty nine for the the uh, um, well no the Titanic's actually that much too. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay, do you want a Glock um, and a three sixty five, or do you want the Titanic for your kids Christmas? <laughs> I mean that's that's Legos. You know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, they are badass. So do not diss Legos. Um, <laughs> but um, you know, it's any industry, you know, I'm very into the off-road industry. There is nothing cheap that is good in the off-road industry. There just isn't. No. It just doesn't yeah. work. It's no. like, well, you got to spend a little bit of money on the shocks to be able to hit those big pumps. There you go. You know, so it just any industry, you got to spend money. And Atlas, Infinity, Cabot, uh, Triarch, Nighthawk, Ed Brown, um, Wilson Combat, all of the staccato, all these brands, they really do it well. And they're, you could argue the top of their game, they're at the top of their games. And so, you know, when you're thinking about top level 1911, 2011s, make sure you do your research, make sure you find the company that matches what you really like. You know, um, some people like the Cabot style, some people like the Nighthawk agency collab style, where it's a little bit more aggressive and more you know updated and kind of more tactical oriented um, some people like the race style um, because they're getting into the competition so and then some people just like just a classic 1911 so that's the cool thing about this model these are all one model they're all 1911s you know okay yeah um, Mike that's a 2011 it's not a no it is a 1911 it's just got a fat magwell um, so they call it a 2011 um, they're all 1911s. So it's really, it's, I mean, you, you try to relate that to another industry. There's not, you don't really see a Honda Civic no. that you could have be a Ferrari Honda Civic. No, no. You know what I mean? Well, 1911s, there's that. You have GI model Springfields and um, Rock Islands that are 500 bucks. Right. And then you've got a six thousand, you know, a fifteen thousand dollar nineteen eleven sitting right next to it, and you're like, "What's different?" And it's like, "Well, the metals, the way they crafted it, how much time they put into uh, cutting that gentleman's face on the side, um, you know, whatever it is." And so, I love them. Uh, like my first true love in guns was a nineteen eleven, and I think it'll always stay that. It's just one gun that. How much money do you have? Okay, I'll pair you with. The 1911 that matches that budget you know it it's just super cool you don't get that much in guns you know what i mean you really um you don't see the same model done by a million different manufacturers right it just doesn't happen the 1911 is it you could get a sig you could get a colt springfield and i mean it's just there's hundreds and hundreds of 1911 and manufacturers on and on and on where and they're all different right they're all unique exactly yeah. Exactly. So super cool uh, firearm. And, and um, as I said, we're going to you know, start shooting these. So the next video um, will be uh, shooting them. This actually, this video may be long enough that we'll split it up. Probably do it too. Yeah. So, um, you know, so we'll probably have this into two and then we'll have the shooting one. Um, but 1911s, they need that time. Um, I mean, you really look at these guns and, and, and what they were created for. They were created for the military. Um, and it, it's timeless and it's really translated. You know, if you look at current military pistols, the M17, the M18, they're very 1911-ish. Yeah. They have that thumb, sa that thumb safety. It's the, it is the best passive. It is the most easy way to activate a safety or unactivate a safety. It's the fastest way. As I'm drawing, I can do it. You know what I mean? And as you get better with gun, it, it gets even easier and easier. It's just such a good design. Um, the only thing that was limited on it was how heavy and the capacity. Well, now there's some lightweight metals like aluminum yep. and there's the 2011 design, which really, okay, how, how many rounds do you need? Um, so 
just a timeless gun that I think will continue to be time. I mean, we're we're a hundred over a hundred years after it was made. Very cool. And I mean, it's still probably one of the top guns sold. You know, so um, Mr. Browning killed it. Uh, he absolutely <laughs> killed it. There you go. Um, so um, anyway, we'll we'll see you next time. I'm Michael. I'm Birdman. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, make sure you're following on Facebook, on YouTube, and all that. And if you message, uh, this guy usually gets right back to you. So uh, it might not be immediately, no. but he does get back to you pretty quickly and uh, does get back to you. So message, follow, yeah. like, all that stuff. Shoot us a message. We'll, get our, we'll do our best to answer it.